Universal Studios Hollywood, welcome to Universal's Animal Actors. Hi, my name is Christy and I'm an animal trainer here at Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs> this is my friend Riley. You may recognize him from the movie Show Dogs. When I was a kid, I came to Universal Studios on a family vacation and I watched the animal show. I told my parents that's what I want to do when I grow up. So they told me to write down the trainer's name so we could write her a letter and ask her how she got her job. Once I was an adult and I got my job there, she was still working there. I am so lucky to work with a great team of trainers here who truly love, care for, and respect all of our animal stars. On behalf of everyone here at Universal Animal Actors, we hope you have a great time and enjoy the show. And now, please welcome one of Hollywood's top animal trainers, Miss Christy Groski. Hello, everybody! Thank you, Welcome to Universal's Animal Actors Show. My name is Maggie, and I will be filling in for Christy, and this is my boy, Trip. Trip and I both work for a company that has been training animals for movies and television for over 40 years. Something you may not know is many of your favorite animal stars actually come from shelters and rescues. And it's like Trip, they got their star right here on this stage and brought us all the audience. A little later in the show, we're going to show you just how Trip and his friends got their big break. Until then, we are all done here, so going off you go. Can I go orange? Let's get this show started with a little friend of mine. This is Kiwi. Hi, Kiwi. Now Kiwi has been trying to fly from one person to another. To demonstrate this, I do want to volunteer. Someone in this middle section, about halfway up, how about you, ma'am, right here? Go ahead and sing that for me and take out the dollar bill. Now the reason I'm actually going to take out that dollar bill is Kiwi doesn't know her and may feel uncomfortable flying to someone she has never met. Acting in Universal Ooh. 7 Almighty, we have trained our birds to recognize and fly to a common object. Today, I just happen to be a dollar bill. Oh, have a dollar? Oh, Perfect. I'm going to have you fold it in half for me. Fold it in half one more time. Big pinch between two fingers. Fold that arm straight out to the side. Stay still. Kiwi's going to see that and know exactly where to fly. Perfect. Thank you. Enjoy the show. All right. Let's try it on this side with a $20 bill. No takers? That's all right. We're going to get this back to go ahead and stand back up for me. This time we're going to make it a little bit easier on her. So one place both arms got me. Now you slap real hard and fly down here and get it. Just kidding, stand back up. This one arm out. This one, perfect. Palm up like a little manny back. Kiwi, she's running very smart. Go and place it right back. There you found it. Did an excellent job by Kiwi. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Kiwi, great, great to start your show. You, my friend, are all done. Off you go. Okay, check it out. That's our stage hand. <laughs> Not only do we get to work with cute little birds like Kiwi, sometimes we challenge ourselves with something larger like a bird of prey. As seen in Universal's Lady Hawk, Matthew Broderick catches that hawk with both precision and grace in a spectacular feat of flight. We'd like to recreate a little bit of that movie magic. You focus your attention to the closed box, the top of the arena, where you find out a star you might recognize from the movie 310 to Yuma. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Aero. <laughs> Right here, right here. The man also seen on the TV 
cells such as bones, CSI, and most recently a diaphragm injury. Now, these birds are not in danger, but many of our native species are. So we here at Universal ask you to do our part to solve the majestic creatures that will never become endangered. with our sunburned shredder, I greet my macaw. Shredder's trainer is going to place him into a strong current of wind. Once in flight, go ahead and look at the screen in the center of the stage to see how it comes together in the movies. tools we use is a mark. So send a black circle just like this and I can place it anywhere on the movie set and I'll tell Clover where I want her to stand in any given scene. But to demonstrate this I do need help from a young lady. Any brave little girls out there not afraid of dogs who wants to help me out? How about you? I saw your hand up right here in the green. Yeah, you want to come on down? Come all the way down this way and I'll meet you over here at the stairs. Welcome, come on up. And what is your name? Faith. And where are you from, Faith? Fresno. Welcome to Hollywood. You're going to have a seat right here in our chair. You are going to play our actress. You can sit back and relax. I'm going to get your co-star all set up. When we take our dogs on to a movie set, the director may want them to interact with an actress in a number of different ways. So I'm going to demonstrate those. The first one, I'm going to place her mark right here next to Faith. And Clover knows. Here we go. Come in. On your mark. Exactly where I want her to be. Very nice. Very good. I'm going to take a couple steps back. I'm going to ask her some basic behaviors using hand cues and verbal cues to make it look like uh, her and Faith are having an interaction. Are you ready? On your feet. Very nice. Can you sit? Good. Lie down. Good. You ready? It's a new one. Crawl. 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 Good stay. On your feet. Get on your mark. Very nice. Sit. Sit. Stay. Sit. On the box. Sit. High five. Very nice, Chloe. That wasn't too bad. Thank you. Now, once she has mastered these basics, we can move on to something that's a little bit more difficult, and that is called the work away. To set this up, I'm going to put Clover on this side this time. Very nice. Sit. Sit. Lie down. Stay. I want to make it look like she is looking right at Faith, so I'm going to take one of her favorite dog treats. I'm going to place it right here in front of our actress, so that way Clover knows exactly where I want her to focus her attention. And they move behind her, which would represent me being on camera. I give her some verbal cues. That's why we call this behavior the work treat. Away. Sweetie, the treats are for the dogs. <laughs> That's gross. You stay. <laughs> I'm going to move behind Clover, give her some verbal cues, and we'll see how she does. Good watch. Good. On your feet. On your feet. This is the opposite direction. On your feet. Good. Sit. <laughs> On your feet, sit. 
Sit, stay, lie down, side, side. Straight up, on your feet. You are officially a trainer for a day. You get a Universal Express Pass as well as this Where's Waldo uh, gift bag to remind you to watch it on Saturdays on the NBC Network. Thank you so much for helping us out. Big round of applause for our actress. Not only do our animal stars have to listen to us trainers, but sometimes I do have to take direction straight from an actor. So for this next scene, I'm about help from a young boy this time. Any little boys, not afraid of dogs, so wants to help me out how about you right here in the shark shirt. Come on down. You know you wouldn't have walked there. You come on up, we'll find out who you are. And what is your name? Dylan. And where are you from, Dylan? It's okay, it doesn't matter. Welcome <laughs> to Hollywood. You're gonna have a seat right here in our chair. You are gonna play our actor. Now all we need is your animal co-star. He played Bailey in A Dog's Purpose. Welcome back, Trip. Hi, Trippy boy. Okay, this is simple. Backstage, we have a huge pile of clothes. With anything you've been thinking of. We have hats, shirts, shoes, pants, socks, hats, anything. I want you to think of two pieces of clothing. When you have them in your head, stay in your seat. Tell Trip, and he's going to go backstage and bring them out for us. Give me the left sock and... All right, Trip, that was two. Now, folks, this is not a trick. This is actually a trade behavior. Trip is backstage looking through that huge pile of clothes, and he brought us a hat. Now, did you ask for a hat, yes or no? Yes. Yes, great, folks, we got the first one right. Very nice, trippy boy, that's for you. Go get that second one. Now, once he gets the first one right, he never gets the second one wrong. This is going to be a 100% show. It's going to bring up that exact second item of clothing that our actor has asked for. Yep. He must be searching really hard for this one. Coming out. One. Oh Wait, dude, where'd you get this? Trip, come on. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. That was Trip's girlfriend. But you're doing a great job, so go ahead and stand up for me. Wave to all your Hollywood fans. Big wave. Nice. I'll take a bow. Very good. Now sit. Good boy. You are well trained. There's your treat. I'm just kidding. You don't want that. But you are doing a great job, so I'd love to keep you around for another scene. Is that all right? Okay, take a walk with me. Oftentimes on set, the director wants our dogs to do things they have never done before. Like go over, around, or throw something they have never seen. It's our job as animal trainers to help them through that. And we're going to demonstrate it with a friendly competition. Please tell me welcome our two of our favorite animal stars. We have Harper and Jess. When we go on auditions, we love to give our dogs encouragement. So everybody's help. Everybody on this side of the arena, you're going to be cheering on Harper. Harper is that gorgeous husky. She's a brand new animal star. When I say lights, camera, action, I need you guys to scream and cheer as loud as you can. Let's try it out. Lights, camera, action! <laughs> Pretty good, but I think you guys can do better. Everybody on this side of the arena, you are going to be cheering on Dex. Dex is that large labradoodle, and he is in a new movie, Benji. You know what to do. Lights, camera, action! Very nice. Let's explain our scene. The director wants our dogs one by one to stop by jumping over our human hurdle. We'll weave in and out of these poles, shoot through the tunnel, jump back over our actor, and finish off by ringing the bell. Now we can only audition one dog at a time, and it looks like Harper's going to go up first. Don't forget to cheer. Lights, camera, action. Oh 
no. Stand up, stand up. Let me see. It's okay, it's a hot day out, so that'll just dry right up. You're a fantastic actor, so I have some things for you as well. You two are a trainer for a day. You get a Universal Express Pass, as well as this Where's Waldo gift bag. You saw your things were falling out. And that's for you. Thank you so much for helping us out. Big round of applause for our actor. Ariel? Is he okay? Okay, I'm gonna need some help. This is an emergency. We've got a situation. <laughs> All right. I'm not buying it. We are gonna run a cat scan. A cat scan is gonna tell us exactly what happened to you today.